portion is Indian philosophy and tradition played a significant role in conceiving and shaping the monument and their art in India. Discuss. Let's contemplate a bit. Indian philosophy and tradition, all online students also, clear? Read the question, contemplate, and try to develop some points in this answer. You must be knowing, have this confidence, first of all, you know the answer, clear? Don't think that you don't know, and you must be knowing. When I'll discuss, I'll not discuss anything new. So have this confidence. Indian philosophy and tradition played a significant role in conceiving and shaping the monuments and their art in India. Discuss. First of all, I'll just hint. Try to generate some points. See, why the purpose is to equip you to develop the points, or you need to generate points. First of all, write the heading philosophy, roughly, clear? Develop what points can be there that led to conceiving and shaping monuments and art, clear? Then tradition. These are two words mentioned, clear? And what is conceiving and shaping, clear? So what, how philosophy has led to? Conceiving, this is the first part. And second, how it led to shaping. Similarly, tradition, how it led to conceiving and how it led to shaping. And with respect to two things, monuments and art. Monuments and art. Think in this sense, fill in the blanks here. Fill in the blanks here. And this is the answer. First of all, you need to know where the answer is. This is the answer. Philosophy, tradition. How it had led to conceiving. Conceiving means idea coming of monuments. Shaping means orientation of the monuments. Clear? Monuments and art. Clear? So this is the answer. Four parts of the answer. One paragraph on this. One paragraph on this. One on this and one on this. Done. Ha, rock art. Bhimbetka. It's art basically. You have to start not monuments because obviously they didn't, it was not rock art architecture. So rock art from Bimbetka, what does it indicate? Tradition, tradition of painting is reflected there. And at the same time, mural painting, tradition of mural painting starts. What is the philosophy conceived? Philosophy is basically to depict the daily lifestyle and also some mythological philosophy that is man fighting with the bull, all indicated there. Come with Bimbetka. After Bimbetka, write the monuments. The next monuments was rock at monuments of Ashok for Ajivika sects in Barabara Caves, Nagarjuna Hills, we had discussed. What is the philosophy? Philosophy to promote heterodox religions here, Ajavika's religion here, clear. And that marked the tradition of rock cut architecture in India, monuments in India. Then write about major rock like Ajanta, Elora, Bag, Nasik, Kaneri, Bhaja, and all this indicate both monuments as well as art, paintings and art monument. This will come under philosophy, conceiving and shaping also, because shaping of monuments also indicate Major concept you can mention was two parts. Why is two parts are mentioned? Because three things are there to indicate both dham and sang. We had discussed all those things. Both the dham and sang is indicating the philosophy of Gautam Bodh or philosophy of Buddhism that is indicated by two parts. Art, Jatak stories is the art, and Jatak stories indicate concept of rebirth, philosophy of rebirth in Buddhism. This can be another development. Then talk about temples, talk about the conceiving the idea. Conceiving idea was worshipping Lord Shiv and Lord Vishnu, large number of temples in southern and western part of India. Again, sculpture art in temples associated with major temples. You can mention about temples like Brihadeshwar temple, then the temples under Pallavas and Chalukyas, major temples will come. In medieval India, philosophy would be Islamic philosophy. They conceived the structure according to Islamic philosophy, clear. And that was basically marked by arch and dome, shaping the monument, that is, Arcuate constructions began to be done. Give the examples, Alai Darwaza. Give the example of major domes, monuments constructed. Then at the same time, tradition, Islamic tradition was followed. Why Islamic tradition? Because in the form of art, they did not apply sculpture and painting. Rather, they applied the art of calligraphy and foliation. Give the examples. Answer is done. First of all, you structure the answer. And then you go for conceiving and shaping. Clear? Divide the answer. 
and you realize what is the matter of the answer, point where the answer lies, clear? Once you identify this, answer will become very easy. Philosophy, tradition. Then write conceiving and shaping. Then write monuments and art. Answer will automatically come. You just have to fit in examples here. What will be the introduction to this question? The art and monuments are basically reflection of the tradition and mindset of the people. Clear. And their structuring indicate the ideas conceived that shaped in different point of time. It can be like this. Clear. So you can write simply the art and monuments are basically the reflection of mindset. And this reflects obviously the philosophy and tradition right from ancient times. It can be done, no doubt. Conceptual thing is there. How do you write the conclusion part? You can write in this way that philosophy and tradition from ancient times led to development of several art and monuments, monuments changing over a period of time, which indicate both synthesis as well as acceptance of different cultures. It can be done because it, we are talking not only about Indian monuments, but Islamic monuments as well. So in this way, you can write that the evolution of art and monuments in, from ancient India clearly reflects a strong fusion and synthesis of different cultures and traditions in India. And India stands for its pluralism. That is idealism. You can write it this. Pluralism is a major feature of Indian society. You can introduce in this sense also clear that diversity and pluralism of Indian society get very well represented through art and monuments right from ancient times. Clear. Don't restrict yourself only to art and culture history. Take something from society. Take something from other areas. That will make the answer very dynamic in nature. So pluralism and diversity of Indian society got reflected through art and monuments since ancient times. Since ancient times. Is it clear to all online? So various religions all have left the mark and so the secular nature of our country. Yeah, secular nature, accommodative character, tolerance of Indian society. And that is also indicated by pluralism and diversity. And that is why we believe in unity and diversity. It's clear.